upset bid properties. We've got to research everything. Yeah. You know, um, here is an interesting one, um, which uh, actually, let's see. 105.77. Oh, hold on here. I clicked on the wrong number here. We need 105.7789. No, probably would have been not bad either. Yeah, it's true. I, I think just about all of them, you know, that one had a $13,000. Uh, it's just what's what's on the deed. Yeah. That's the big risk with the, you know, with yeah, the yeah, property. It's true. Like, for instance, this property right here is a really interesting one. So we've got a $5,000 opening bid, you know, a pretty low opening bid amount. We've got the address there. We've got a total assessed value of 179 on the property here, and we've got the address along with, uh, you know, the GIS. And we can also see that that's at nearly $8,000, you know, that's $8,000 for the transfer tax. Yeah, so we're looking at a $5,000 bid plus the $8,000 transfer tax. Uh, you know, as the opening bid, there's a recorder's fee of $82, and then also the bid for assets fee on top of it. But of course, you're buying these properties, and it still is a, a tax deed. They're still going to give you a deed to the property. So uh, you could go ahead if the property is vacant and rent it out. If it's occupied, you can contact who's living in there, find out if they're interested in renting it or buying it, uh, and you know, and see if you can work out something with them. If not, uh, you know, uh, have them leave the property and then do whatever you want to it at that point, whether that be rehabbing the property or uh, <clears throat> selling it and letting somebody else come in there and rehab it. Yeah. In fact, so this is the property that we're looking at right here that has a $5,000 opening bid. If we look at it here, it's it's a, it's a nice property here. Uh, it is, I believe, we're looking at this property right here. You know, which it's, uh, it's a nice big home. Uh, let's let me go like this. It is nice. Yeah, I mean, it, you know, it's it is it's a very nice home. And we go to look at it, and it's got an estimated value of 403000 you know, a rent estimate of 2300 You know, for a $5,000 opening bid amount, you know, that those are some crazy numbers, and, you know, it, it's nice property. You know, one thing to look at as well as we're looking at this, you know, this is a big home. Yeah. Almost 4,000 square feet. We also look and just to get an idea of what Zillow thinks as far as the estimate range, we can see that this area has gone down by a little bit, uh, you know, $1,800 over the last 30 days or so. So it's really kind of had a big upshoot. But we can see, you know, as far as 2020, uh, what was the beginning, kind of 2020, what was the value at? Uh, it was about 300000 Three hundred thousand. So it jumped up about a hundred thousand, but really, it's been it, that three hundred thousand dollar mark. Though it's been a three hundred thousand dollar property in that range from you know really back, uh, yeah, yeah, around two thousand fifteen. Well, and that's kind of the point that I'm making is that you know this property might go down, but I don't think I, it may go down at the very most. I would assume you know, and it probably take a few years to do that by fifty thousand. Yeah, you know, so you're not going to ever drop below. You know, three hundred and fifty. If it is what it is, right yeah, now. it's never dropping down to three hundred again. Yeah, you yeah. Know, no, no way. You know, I mean, you know, it, it might lose a little bit of value there, but it's going to be pretty strong. Uh, you know, I wouldn't be worried about it at all. No, no. I mean, there's a huge amount of profit, and and depending on what is against the property, you know, we can take that into consideration if there is some judgments and things like that are going to stick, and we're going to include that into our payments so we can determine how high a bid we can go on the property. Yeah.